Hey, I'm back. I'm the Intense MD, a double board certified intensivist here to give you an inside look into the intensive care unit. Today, we are talking about what happens after somebody leaves the intensive care unit. So far, we've talked a lot about what happens when a patient is in the intensive care unit. And a lot of times when somebody's in the ICU, their family will ask me or the patient will ask me, well, when do I get to go home? The truth is not a lot of people go straight from the intensive care unit to home. There's a very low amount of people actually who might be safe to go home directly from the intensive care unit. So most commonly, a patient will get transferred to another floor in the hospital, either the step-down floor or the regular med surge floor. Here the patient will be observed until their disease process is either resolved or getting better enough that they can complete their treatment at home. There are some instances where somebody gets sick again and may have to return to the ICU and may have to go back on life support. But once somebody leaves the intensive care unit, goes to the floor, usually they get observed for a couple more days and then, like I said, they can finish their treatment in the hospital or at home. Many people who are in the intensive care unit for a prolonged period of time, and that's more than a couple days, they typically don't go straight from the regular medical floor to home because being in the hospital for a prolonged period of time, being laying in bed, maybe on life support, not able to be awake and moving around as much, they become very deconditioned. They lose a lot of their strength, a lot of their muscle tone, so they might have to go to an acute care rehab for more aggressive physical therapy. Typically in these situations, the physical therapy team and the occupational therapy team come and see the patient and evaluate them every day or every couple days to see how they're progressing to determine if they can safely go home once they're finished with the hospital or if they need to go to a rehab facility to get stronger. Patients who are in the intensive care unit needing prolonged ventilation who may end up with a tracheostomy and continued ventilator support might go to a long-term acute care facility or an LTAC in order to have a slower wean from the vent. This is more of a hospital-based setting. The team there will continue to monitor the patient and attempt to get them off the ventilator. This is only when the patient is stable enough to leave the intensive care setting, when they're off any type of medication supporting their blood pressure, when they need no sedation or very minimal sedation, because it's not necessarily an intensive care hospital setting. It might be an ICU and an LTAC, but they don't have as many resources that we have in the hospital, so we need to make sure it's safe for the patient to go to the long-term care facility. And then there are some patients who might need total nursing care 24-7. Many of the times these patients who need 24-hour nursing care may be bed bound, they have the trach for ventilator oxygen support, they might have a feeding tube in their stomach to give them continuous feeds, and they are unable to go home because they require 24-hour nursing staff to turn them every two hours to make sure that you know, their, their tubes look okay and monitor them in that type of facility because they can't do anything for themselves. They'll need somebody to bathe them, wash them, dress them, everything. So that is also a situation after somebody leaves the intensive care unit, they may have to go to a nursing facility where they can be cared for. And like I said, there are there is a small amount of people who can go home, but... I can't think of one person in the past several months that I have discharged directly from the ICU to home. Like I said, typically the average patient will go to the medical floor first to finish their treatment, maybe get a little bit more physical therapy, and then either go home from there or go to a rehab center to get stronger. It's more common that somebody who 
may not be completely dependent on life support and opts for hospice may go home on hospice. So it's more typical for us to discharge somebody to home who is going to hospice rather than somebody who's completed their treatment and ready to go home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations for a video, feel free to leave it below. I have some links to Google Forms in my description for a Q&A and for any type of reaction video or video suggestions that you may have. I will see you again on Friday with the next video.